We've got a pesky little problem in Blender. I've managed to find a workaround. I've got quads on a cone now. So when you import a cone, it looks like this. Press Control R. Nada. Nada thing's going to happen. Now, there's a couple ways to kind of bypass this. Number one, you can grab the top here, which is actually called a pull. It's a convergence of all of these edges. So basically, a loop cut can't exist here, which is weird because once you do it, they're there. But anyways, don't pretend to understand all that. I could press Control V or Shift Control B and bevel this vertice just a touch. And now I could add said geometry, right? You could technically even leave it just like that. Or you can come back in here to this little tiny tip area if you don't like that. And you could probably just grab all of these, tap G. Oh, I guess a second time I'll press C to turn off clamp. Maybe hit G again because it's being a pain. And then I can do something like this. And I think if you actually do a snap invert, you can do something different here. But I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it just like it is. I think that's good. Now, if that's bad right there, like as a selection, I'm just going to grab all that M and merge all those at the center just in case. Now, that actually looks good, and it should take a shade auto smooth and look really nice. Now, we'll go ahead and drop in another cone, and I'll just GZ1 that up, GY over, blah, blah. And, well, here's another way you can do this. You can just press orthographic. Well, eh, let's do three right there. I'm going to jump into vertex select, and then I'm going to grab the knife tool K, and hopefully I'm on the correct edge here. And then I'm going to press, I guess, Y. Yeah, for that, that works good. That constrains it. I'm going to press C to cut all the way through. Left click, hit enter. Now I've got that set up. I don't have to screw with the top. And if I come back into edge select, I can press shift R and then make even loop cuts, which gives me quads. And that should be able to shade that all smooth. And that looks good too. Hope this helps. See you in the next one.